Are you interested in participating in sports while attending college? Your response does not obligate you in any way to be eligible. Oh, I'm going to say yes. I'm on the City College of San Francisco website and I'm going to submit an application. Um, shoot, I'm 40 years old. <laughs> And the idea of going back to college has been presented a few times from me in my mind, as well as um, just conversations with friends and whatnot. Um, why City College? Honestly, it's free. Um, <laughs> taking advantage of the fact that they have a free program. Um, I already have my associate's degree from City College, but you know, it doesn't hurt to go back and revisit this whole process and see what's available, right? Um, as you may or may not know, I'm self-employed. So it's always important to like continue, continuously grow your mind, your skills, all of those things. Um, for me at this point in my life, it's part of that, but also I really am taking a shift in, in a new direction with my business. And I have time. <laughs> what it comes down to is I got the time. Um, the business that I do have in place, you know, through my transaction coordinator business, go follow that channel, Transaction Care. We're at like 1,100 subscribers right now. Um, visit my website, all that stuff. But through transaction coordination, coaching, my Patreon, uh, those are my three main streams of income at the moment. And because I haven't really put so much effort into building those out, and I've kind of just been accepting the business that's already in place, I'm exploring different ways that I could fill my time that isn't just through working and that's why I'm applying to S City College. So <laughs> I just logged in and oh, start new application. So I'm starting a new application. You guys are watching it with me live. You're doing it with me live. Uh, term applying for summer, fall 2024. Well, I guess, yeah. Um, so now educational goal, obtain an associate's degree to transfer to four-year institution, uh, update job skills, educational development, improve basic skills, complete credits for high school, GED, moved to non-credit course, currently enrolled for your college to me. Uh, let's see, we're gonna put, I already have the associate's degree um, I don't need to do that. Discover, formulate, career, interest, plans, goals. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, majors. That was the other question is I, my original major was business. I never got my, um, bachelor, bachelor's degree because I just went straight into the workforce. You know, you girl had to just survive and over the years, I would say over the last, um, not this past decade, but the decade in my 20s, I definitely was going back and forth to take classes. And, you know, I eventually got my real estate license. I eventually got my certification for transaction coordination. I got a certification to be a life coach. I got a certification for fashion, uh, streetwear design. I... <laughs> What else did I get? I did. I took a business course, got a cert certificate in that. So I've always like stayed doing some sort of schooling and education. So this isn't like a big stretch, but the fact that I would possibly be going to an institution, like into a school, a school I love, like City College to me will always be one of the best, just local community colleges you know, I, I could be biased, but um, I love the area. A lot of, I, anyway, what I'm getting at is going,
going back to school is not necessarily like the most foreign or brand new thing for me. It's more so like, am I going, aside from like filling my time and learning new skills and educating myself, am I also going to go continue my business education? Am I going to go to study a new topic? something I'm interested in or have no interest in and just want to experiment. I mean, life is, a, is, is, is an open adventure for me right now. And I'm, I'm very grateful that I have the privilege and, and the time and the space to, to make a decision like this, right? Um, and it's funny that I would fill my time with going back to school when every time I'm in school, even when I was at City College or San Francisco State, I was always trying to get out of school. <laughs> Like sitting for three hours in lectures is tough. Like it's tough. Like I'm good for a solid hour where I could focus. I'm committed. I'm in it. But hour two, it's starting to dwindle. I'm starting to like look around, you know, look at the ground, stare at my book, get on my phone. I know it's so disrespectful. And then by hour three, I'm checked out. I'm, I'm like ready to just leave the room, I feel like everyone is racist. Like I, my mind starts playing tricks on me, okay? <laughs> um, but the good thing is I can just apply at City College. There's no, to my awareness, unless there's maybe like taxes or fees, um, but tuition should be free because I'm a San Francisco resident, California resident, um, and shoot, why not try my hand at some FAFSA? I don't know, but Anyway, right now it's asking me like the major categories. I'm gonna to stick to business management and entrepreneurship. Intended major of study. Um, that was like the other thing. I, I didn't, I'm gonna go with entrepreneurship um, just cause that's where I'm at. Um, and I can always change. It's, it's not gonna really, I don't, I don't hope it wouldn't impact anything. So continue. Do you have a previous legal name that we know? Uh, do you have a social, social? Yes, I have a social. Okay, can't tell you guys that one. If you guys hear dogs in the background of this video or any video, my neighbor babysits dogs. Well, dog sits dogs. <laughs> babysit and they be going off on each other or like the slightest noise so they're usually like in the back of the house or in the backyard and I'll just go open my window softly or sometimes aggressively and it just rouse them up or with when someone comes to the door downstairs um, oh okay said my social doesn't add up. Uh, and then there's just one dog whose name he's always like, um, he's always yelling, but I can't remember it right now because my brain is like, trying to focus on this application. But he's always like, yelling at that one dog. Um, it used to annoy me. I mean, there's some moments where I'm like in a meeting or I'm like, you know, trying to record a podcast or record a video. Not these videos, but for my real estate channel. And why is it saying it's not matching? Okay. So, yeah, it used to annoy me that these dogs would just be barking around the clock um, because I don't complain. I'm not the neighbor that's going to complain because I, not lately, but back in the day, I used to always have parties or this would be like um, the, the kick it spot after we would all go hang out and everyone would come here. Received high school diploma, okay, college enrollment center. I'm a returning student to this college after absent 
or a main term. Well, I've been absent a long time, longer than that. Adult school student, high school, first time, for, no, yeah, that's right. Um, high school completion date. Oh God, you guys, I don't know what age group of people are watching me here, but family and friends, I'm not tripping off, but uh, high school completion, uh, 2002. I think it was like June 1st. Isn't that crazy? Like 22 years ago, wild. Did you receive your uh, diploma, GED, or certification in California? Oh, yes. Have you attended high school in California for three or, oh, wait. Have you attended high school in California for three or more years? Yes. Oh, I guess because people move. I'm not <laughs> current or most recent high school attended. I attended high school, adult school, homeschool. I attended high school. Oh my gosh. In California, bruh. Name, uh, the enter the name or city. Um, Mercy High School, San Francisco. Yep, that's where I went, guys. Yeah, and it's it's saying not on the list because it no longer exists. Oh, and my dinner's ready. Oh, the game is on, guys. Is anyone a WNBA fan? I know I'm kind of just like rambling in this video because this is just a real day in the life. Is the lighting good? You hear them damn dogs? Let's put it back here. Um, league pa I have a league pass for the WNBA. And my favorite team is playing right now. Although next season it will be challenged because Golden State, on the pedal because AKA, Ryan Howard allowed her AKA the Bay Area, the Golden State Valkyries are gonna have a team. And here, let me mute this because we're still doing this application. And basically, I gotta rep for the home team. You know what I'm saying? But I love, love, love the Las Vegas Aces. So if anyone wants to take me to a team to a game. Let me just put the um I love the Las Vegas Aces, but I gotta, you know, spread the love and, and root for my home team next year. But if you know the aces, it said it didn't. So now it's showing up. Mercy High School. I guess I just typed it in wrong. Oh my God, high school transcript information. Do I have to, this is dumb. I'm gonna try and skip this, continue. Oh my God, it said, okay, what was your unweighted high school GPA? Do you guys know I'm 40 years old? <laughs> Please enter a value between zero and 4.0. If you are still in high school, enter the unweighted high school GPA. Oh my God, does anyone remember their GPA? I don't remember my GPA. It was either, oh my God. Uh, it was either like really close to a 3.0 or it was a 3.0. Chemistry, biology, all those science classes effed me up, effed up my GPA because I, uh, I got a D in chemistry, which was a passing grade. After a while, I was like, I can only do so much, like, I can only put so much in my calculator. <laughs> and I'm distracted by this game, but oh my God, what was my GPA? I'm gonna put 3.0. <laughs> Who's gonna call? Who's gonna check? Uh, why is it, what was your highest English course you completed in high school? Is this a real, oh my God, 12th grade. Oh my God, what grade did I receive? I don't know. Why is it asking me these questions? Oh my God. This is, this is like, what did I get in English? I'm gonna say a B. Yeah, I did good in English, except for that one year, junior year. What was the highest math course you completed in high school? Oh God, um, I did trigonometry. 
Oh, no, I did. No, I did pre-calculate trigonometry. I did pre-calculus in uh, college. Oh my God, college level. Received an associate. Oh my God, when did I receive my associate's degree? When did I receive my associate's degree? I think I have the degree. Come with me, guys. Come with me, come with me. Oh, we're at 15 minutes on this vlog. You know what? I think I have it under here. <laughs> I've been moving my room around and stuff. But look, real estate license. Certification. Life coaching. Streetwear. City College of San Francisco. Here we go. May... 26th 2006 remember that guys may 26 52606 52606 52606 52606 2006 all right how's the game going the aces are up by 11 points right now um which colleges did I attend? Wait, what is colleges attended? Specifically, the number of colleges you've attended, including those in, that you're currently enrolled in. Um, City College of San Francisco. Oh my God, when did I begin? I'm going to say August 2002. Kelsey Plum is such a funny player. Oh God. Um, May. I see, but I kept going because that's where I got my real estate license from. <laughs> I took the courses at City College. Ugh, whatever. I'm just gonna say 2006. Um, associate's degree. Oh my God. Same questions. When did you get your degree? I just told you May 2006, 2016. California, San Francisco State University. Uh, there we go. When did I begin? Let's say August 2002. Shout out to the class of 02. I dropped out, I must say, May 2006, because that's when they were like, you have enough credits to get a degree at City College. So I was like, all right, cool. Oh my God. Yes, I want to stay signed in. I'm still here. What the hell? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No degree. Continue. Yes, I am a citizen. None. As I am the military, I was not a California resident. Yes. No. Yes, English. Yes. Um, no, I don't. Athletic intro. Oh, should I play sports? Ah, should I play a sport? Okay, let's see. Are you interested in participating in sports while attending college? Your response does not obligate you in any way to be eligible. Oh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Imagine. Yes, I'm interested in one or more sports, including the possibility of playing on an intercollegiate team. Yes, I am interested in intramural or club sports, but not playing intercollegiate team. No, I'm going to say yes, I'm interested. Heck yeah. Oh, I just got excited. Ah, imagine 40 year old goes to the final four, <laughs> not as a coach, but as a player. Okay. Uh, check the program. Imagine, like, what if I went for, like, golf or tennis? That'd be tight. Okay, check the programs in which you're interested in. Not all college campuses offers a program and service listed. Oh, I'm definitely interested in counseling because I think having a counselor available at any level is so important. That was something I did not have in high school, and I feel like I was misguided the entire time, truly. And 
looking back when I met with counselors at City College, they were the ones that helped me the most. They were the ones that looked at my credits and were like, you know, you're only one class away from your associate's degree. And I had no idea, no idea. So counseling for sure, uh, even if it's for your mental health. Uh, transfer information, reentry program, whatever, that's good enough. Continue. Okay. No children, ethnicity, Samoan. They never have like Mexican, like, oh, there we go. Are you Hispanic or Latino? Yes. Mexican. All right, they had all my options, guys. Oh my God. Um, regardless of your age, please indicate the education levels of your parents or guardians. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna say some college. Grade nine or less, there we go, continue. Yeah, I don't think my dad finished school at all. Uh, if you intended to get an email, the 10 digit California statewide ID. Oh, God. Um, I don't. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. I am requesting. Okay, let's. Okay, wait. I have to read this, guys. But. Anyway, I'm like one thing away from submitting this application. Thank you for watching this vlog if you're still here. This is like a real day in the life. Not every day is this wild and crazy adventure. Like, you know how I always say like zero or a hundred? There's no like in between. There's no two, zero, two way hundred because the two implies that there are things that are happening in between. No, this is like level zero adventure. And then the 10 would be like, I pop out at college randomly. <laughs> Facts. Okay, I am accepting, wait, exemption from what? Oh God. Well, I'll check back if anything else happens, but I was hoping to like submit this with you guys. All. Okay, let's stay on for like another 30, 30 seconds here. I'm gonna make sure the lighting is good. If you attend another college and intend, I don't, Oh, have you been subject to any criminal justice process? No. Sometimes there are cultural barriers. Uh, no. You may exempt from the enrollment steps if you meet the criteria. But any student except any student exempted can still participate in these services at a later date. I am. I am. No, none of these apply to me. I am requesting exemption because I already have. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. It's making me answer one of these questions, but it's not telling me which freaking one. All right. Continue. Error saving question. It's important for student planning to take courses with prerequisites must complete assessment and or complete prerequisite test. Students would exempt. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, let's see. I am requesting exemption from orientation, information session about course placement, instruction program, assessment, evaluate. Oh God, uh, evaluate your current math. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna just do that. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, something's. What, is, what am I missing? I answered everything. I am enrolled. I am a new student planner and certificate degree. I'm still a, I am a new student, but I wish to leave. I don't even know how to answer this question. I am enrolled. Okay, there we go. I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. You know, reading is so fundamental. Oh my God, we're crooked. Are we crooked? And, and I moved my office around again. That's why there's like things kind of everywhere. This wall like is hella empty. 
Okay, request for consent of release. Yes, I consent. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're submitting the application. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, check this out. Today is July 19th, 2024. No, guys, today is July 12th, 2024. <laughs> And I'm submitting my application. So let's see what happens. We did it. We did it. Great job, Lillian. That's what's up. 